Want to learn how to make catchy titles for your next video? Well, good, because that's what we're talking about today. Oh, I got a good question here. This is from Jessica Sidemer, the green light coach. Thank you, Jessica, for the question. And she asks, I'd like a video on titles from a marketing point of view. I've seen your videos where you talk about keywords, but what I'm curious about is, I know what my clients need, but it's not always what they want or what they're searching for. So how do you create clever, catchy titles that attract clients while still providing the content that they need. Not a bait and switch, but an attract them with what they want and give them what they need. Thanks, James, you rock. Well, thank you, Jessica, you rock too. Well, there's two parts to this question. And the first part was really about saying, I know what they want, but I really know what they need. And you need to be careful with this because at this YouTube level where you're, you're finding new people or new people are finding you, you need to really make sure that your videos, your blog posts, the content is all starting with topics that they are looking for. You market what they want and you sell them what they need. Now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about catchy titles because that's something you do wanna know more about and I think that's extremely important. I like to blend 50-50 of having the good keywords in my title and my description with a good catchy title. What I would tell you, the simplest way to make a catchy title is just to learn the basics of copywriting. Grab a copywriting book or two, Hypnotic Writing by Joe Vitale. Another book, Triggers, is a fantastic book to learn the basics of how we can use words to influence people, to build curiosity, and to convey the benefits of what people are gonna learn in your videos. But here's a simple trick, one tip I'll give you for your videos right now, and it's the power of numbers in your titles. How can you use numbers, three, five, six, seven, 15 tips or secrets or strategies to getting XYZ? So let me give you an example. I could share the three steps to getting more results on YouTube or five ways to make compelling titles for your videos, or the seven steps to getting more traffic on YouTube. I'm using a number plus a benefit, result, or outcome for my title. What this will do is it'll tell people exactly what you're gonna talk about in your video, but it also gets them a little curious about what are these different ways? And do I know all those ways? Maybe I should watch this video to find out. What are the three ways? Because I only knew two ways. So let's go ahead and drill this down and look at a real live example. Uh, so I'm actually over here on Jessica's channel, The Green Light Coach. Make sure to subscribe. And I'm looking at a few of her videos. Now actually a lot of them have some really good titles, but I'm looking at one right here where the title is just called Green Lighting Your Career. Now. I'm aware that green lighting is a industry term uh, in the entertainment industry, but you need to ask yourself the question, is that what people, your audience, are truly searching for? Do they type into Google and YouTube, how to green light my career? If they are, fantastic. If not, we need to change our language a little bit. But I'm gonna show you how just adding this numbers strategy can make a big difference to your title. So we could do something at the front of the title, something like, five steps to green light in your career, or five ways to green light your career. The other way we can do this is we can put a number at the end of the headline or the title by putting a date stamp on it. So we could say, green light your career in 90 days, or 180 days, or 30 days, or whatever you wanna, you know, whatever seems realistic for your industry. Now another tip I'm gonna leave for Jessica and everyone else who's curious about this question, is to also understand that your thumbnail, the image or graphic of your video on YouTube is extremely powerful in getting people to click your video and not someone else's. So if you have the custom thumbnail option on your channel, that's awesome, use it, put text, you know, maybe the, t the benefit of your video and an image of you looking into the camera and you can do some fun stuff with that to really 
get attention and get people to click on your thumbnail and not somebody else's. So there's a great place to get started. So Jessica, hopefully that helps you for your future videos, but don't ever forget those keywords. Trust me, that's an extremely powerful strategy for YouTube. Thanks for asking the question. Thanks for you guys hanging out. And if you have your questions, please submit them in the text box below, leave a comment and let me know. And maybe we'll put yours in one of our next videos. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Still trying to figure out all this YouTube and social media stuff? Well, I got you covered. Click the link below to download my latest guide, the YouTube Traffic Report, to finally give you a clear-cut strategy for online success with video.